little something, something. Yeah, I watch Fiddle and Turn and them. But, you don't know everything. I guess no one knows everything. Some of the things you may not have known, you need to do. Disclaimer, this is not for everybody. Some people are coming in the game at 30, 40 years old. Some of y'all had great parents that taught y'all all this stuff already. But some of us is coming from the street. Some of us is, is getting off the bad habits. That booger sugar. That wet and wild. That, that wet. And you may not know these couple of things. Alright, first of all, we gotta figure out are you gonna be an OTR guy or are you a home guy? Of course, I'm an OTR guy, so this is probably gonna be leaning towards the OTR stuff. So if it doesn't apply to you, I don't know, kill yourself. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. If you are OTR, you plan on coming out here and being out here for a couple of years OTR and giving up your stuff, or maybe you're 21 and you ain't really had no stuff in the first place, there's some stuff you need to get acquainted with. Online banking. Online banking is something you need to get acquainted with because your bank is not everywhere you're going to be. Unless you're like with, well, Wells Fargo is pretty much almost everywhere. But still, if you're not with them and you're with someone else like like me, I'm with Navy Federal. Navy Federal is not is probably in five percent of the states in the country. So you have to handle all of your stuff online banking. Get acquainted with your apps. If you don't have an app, you if you have a bank, they have an app. Download the app. You don't have the password to it. Call your bank. Tell them you're trying to set up your uh, app for your online banking and get all of that set up. Number two, mobile pay. You got to learn how to handle your business even though you're not in one place. If you do not, this could take a hit on your credit because you know, you're missing stuff and you ain't got no way to pay it and all this other stuff and you ain't really been up on your things. You're grown now. Talking to the young bucks. You grown. You ain't at mommy's house no more. No one's doing nothing for you. You gotta be able to handle all your business on your own. If you cannot handle all your business on your own, something's gonna slip and it's gonna hit your credit. And it may not mean nothing the first four years of trucking, but I want you to enroll and matured for a while and you've been looking at stuff saying, I wanna stop here. I wanna live here. I wanna buy a house here. That's when it's gonna matter. So online uh, paying, online banking is very, very, very important. Have a laptop, please. Don't don't be one of those. Don't be that guy that doesn't have a laptop and think you can do everything off of your phone. You look very, very uninformed, immature, and 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 stuck in the old times. All of the above. You have to have a laptop. You're out here. You may not be a lease operator yet, but you may go into it. Have the stuff you need business please um number two it'd be nice if you have some type of internet signal that isn't a must but i mean it's almost a must it's almost a must. No, no, i'm gonna say it's a must yes it's a must you you know make sure you're with you know that leads us into the next point have a grown-up phone stop it look guys stop with the sprint this is your otr Stop it with the Sprint. Stop it with the T-Mobile. Stop it with the Metro. None of that's going to work out here, dog. And people say, oh, mine still works good. Yeah, that's nice. Go get a real phone. AT&T or Verizon. I personally like Verizon, but AT&T or Verizon is okay, and it'll do what you need to do out here for the most part. But don't be that guy that has the, the Jigaboo phone because you don't, don't want to pay $100 a month. I mean, it's just, it's unbecoming, honestly. Um, number two, have, be prepared for, right, that's the right clothes. The jacket needs to be tucked away, even if it's summertime, because you're going through all different climates up here, and you don't know when it's going to be cold. It could be 75 degrees down here. I'm in Salt Lake. I get to the top of the mountain, it could be 40 degrees, and the wind could be blowing real hard. Now you done messed up, got emphysema all up in your chest region, and now you got bronchial disease and infections and stuff like that, because you just wouldn't want to get you a nice little fleece or a jacket or something. Tuck it away for when you need it. Have a raincoat. 
because they don't understand you not hooking up to the load or not tarping the load or not backing and opening the door because it's raining. Have a raincoat. Ain't nobody trying to have the soggy butt because you letting the rain just pour down all in your butt cheeks. Now you done set up, now you got the mud booty. You see what I'm saying? Have a raincoat. Where I'm gonna get a raincoat from? Every, dang there, every TA in Petro got a little rain, cheap rain zone you can throw over your real coat. Get one of them, leave it in the plastic till you really gonna need it. Please have that. Please. Tool set. All right? Tool set. Roadside assistance is not always gonna be able to be there and you're not always gonna to wanna to have to deal with them. I know people think I don't work on my truck at all, but the stuff that I can just do myself, I do not post. It's just real quick. Up, oh, this one out, boom. Break the tools, join out, move the thing out the way, replace that, put it back in, keep moving. It's not video worthy. Or maybe it is video worthy. Okay, have a tool set, please. I mean, honestly. It, you know, it's literally, you can get a tool set for $25 from Walmart. A basic ratchet set with a little thing of pliers in there for you to do basic stuff. Okay? It will be smart for you to go in there and get one of them little $20 Walmart drills. They come with bits. If you need to drill something, uh, mount something, mount a TV, mount whatever, you can have that already on, already on you. Um, uh, another thing, the proper shoes. Do not come out here and have one pair of shoes. You know, I got riding shoes. I got uh, tarping shoes. I still got me some boots on there. I got I got some, some walking and running shoes. Have the proper shoes. Be prepared. Everything has to come out of that truck. That is your house. I don't care if you got a place to go home to and Trucker Brown's homeless so he's a piece of crap and you're better than me. While you're on this road for 30 to 60 days at a time, that is your house. Okay? And you got to be able to go to your house and pull out what you need crowbar comes in handy. These different things come in handy. Another thing you need, um, what do they call that, John? Where why? Where why? The, be the best bag I've had is a luggage, like a uh, carry-on. It rolls, has a place for your laptop, place for a change of clothes when you go into a hotel, place for your toiletries, and you can roll it. You do not want to be the fumbling guy that hasn't figured out his luggage situation, trying to walk in. That's what you are walking into being as a student. You can go right on down there into Walmart, you can get you one for $40. And it is not the most sturdy one in the world, it's Walmart. It's just to get you started. How your little carry-on joint, get one big enough to hold a whole situation. Go home, take yourself three, four clothes, change clothes, pair of shoes, toiletries, and your laptop situation all in one bag, you set, you squared away. Okay? That simple. Do not become a pack rat on your truck. Don't, don't do it. Don't be one of those guys where it's so much stuff, people can't even find a place to sit. Don't do that. Those people are creepy, let's be honest. Um, figure out your phone mount situation. Best phone mounts you can get is a magnet mount. You can get them at the back of Walmart or you can get them at the Love's. If it's gonna have a sticky, if, if it's gonna stick to the windshield, like what I'm doing this video with right now, I'm doing this video with a cell phone and a magnet mount that sticks to the windshield. The magnet goes on the back of my phone, which sticks to the mount. The mount has a suction cup sticking on the window and voila, this happens. Okay, you can get that. Listen, when you're getting this magnet mount, look at the actual suction cup. If it's one of those suction cups that's black and it looks like it has like a, a film over it where it's gonna be sticky as adhesive, you don't want that one. You want one that's just a regular suction cup. It lasts longer, trust me. Um, well, go on. Get a, get a truck GPS. Don't, I, mean, I have friends. Um, Jay Rich, she has a YouTube channel. Y'all can go check out Jay Rich's YouTube channel, young lady who does uh, OTR trucking. And she just won't get uh, a trucking GPS. Every time I've spoke to her, I ask her, well, what's your trucking GPS? She don't have it. Get a trucking GPS, honestly. Don't, don't be that guy that thinks the app is gonna work because the app is gonna take up your phone at the same time you're trying to make calls 
It's stupid. Just go in there and pay the 99 to 150 bucks and get a truck GPS, please. I hope you're writing this down. Oh yeah, a multi plug to go into these uh, these sockets that gives you three or four places to stick USBs into. Charger. You're gonna need that. You got a lot of stuff charging on your dashboard. You need enough things to charge it. Uh, a couple things to help you with organization will be the um, uh, these crates. They're like milk crates. Milk crates, you can get them in all different colors if you're in that. You go in there and get yourself a milk crate. They're $2.95 from the wall, measy. And it, it'll stop you, put stuff down on the side of you where it don't be rolling all over your, uh, all over your, uh, all over your tractor. So, you know, uh, um, yeah, look them up. I also got me some some uh, uh, some big plastic totes with roller wheels from Walmart that I put on the top bunk, which I secure with a little strap I got from Walmart. That way I don't just have a big mound of clothes on my on the top of my um, on the top of on my top bunk. It looks organized. It's, 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 it's in different crates and it's backed by that. It's not falling while I'm driving. It helps you be a little bit more organized. Another thing that's going to help you out because you don't know what you need to keep close to you, you need to keep yourself a seat caddy. Well, seat caddy, truck ride. Well, seat caddy is what old school dudes use it more, but it's basically a thing that goes over your passenger seat and provides you with a whole bunch of pockets for you to put your stapler and you to put different things over there, your, uh, your log book and, and, and all that other foolishness. And all that stuff, your permit book, uh, uh, different things like that can go in there. It's just a handy place to give you more pockets to hold stuff and to be more organized. Go get yourself one of them. Um, what else? I know I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Oh, yeah. Proper bedding. I personally am not a big bedding. My bed is not a bake. Uh, it's not a uh, fashion statement. Hello, Sean. My bed is not a fashion statement. It doesn't say... Virginia Tech on it and it's all fancy and stuff like that. If anyone knows Lowe, they, they don't take any shot. Lowe has a real decked out bed. If you want to do that, that's cool. But if you're just starting out and you ain't as rich as someone like Lowe, just go get you a regular bed joint out of Wall Measy, dog. You get yourself a twin, get yourself a, uh, uh, a twin. Sorry, it's going to be bumpy, y'all. This road is it's not going to smooth out for a minute. Uh, you get yourself a twin, fit it cheap. And get yourself one of them fleece blankets, and you're good to go, man. You probably gonna spend twenty four dollars. Then when you start making big flip money grips, then you gonna get the fancy back stuff back then. Okay? Why are you not getting the fancy stuff off junk truck around? Because y'all rookies like the job hop, and you ain't trying not to carry all that stuff around. You do that once you are secure in that truck. Either that truck can go everywhere with you, and you are owner op, you bought your truck. Or you just know you're going to stay at that company for that period of time. Okay? If you know you're going to stay at that company for that period of time, then you do not have to worry about what I'm saying. But if you're unsure and maybe and I don't know, don't throw all that stuff in your truck just to be, you know, tearing it out. You don't put chrome brake things on, chrome dashboard, chrome air conditioner knobs just to move out the truck. I don't know how many trucks I done moved in that had that in there already. I'm gonna take a little sip of the limonada. Mm, mm, mm. So, you know, just be mindful, man. You don't need that stuff until you need that stuff. If you know you're gonna be somewhere that's gonna be, um, you're gonna be there for a while, then you deck your truck out and do all the other fruity booty crap that people do. Okay. All right. Waste of money is those lug caps. It, it does. Well, it really does seem like I'm picking on you right now because you do a lot of this stuff. But listen, at least he gets the ones that are the good ones. If you're gonna get lug caps, don't get the cheap ones because they're just gonna fall off. That's all they're gonna do. And now you walk around there with missing teeth on your little lug spikes. And you, listen, man. When you're just getting in the game, you need to be focusing on not how you look, on how you perform. Okay? I know these guys want to beef you up and tell you you need to wear jeans and all, but you don't got to wear none of that crap. Your, your check pays just like everybody else. That's just some old school, phasing out, owner op, old head crap that obviously doesn't matter because people are still running. So, 
listen, man, wear what's comfortable to you. You don't want to be wearing no Wrangler jeans and steel toe boots driving for 12 freaking hours. And it'll do nothing but hurt your knee and your ankles. Fine, you know, if you got to go pick up, you may have to wear that to go pick up. But then on the driving days, like my next two days are just driving days, I'm going to probably wear some basketball shorts and a t-shirt, Crocs or some running shoes. You know, and, and that's it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to be comfortable in this truck. Uh, hopefully you got you a truck that has shades on it. That that always helps. Uh, that's why I like going for the Cascadias because they usually come with shades. Some of the Kenworth models, they don't have a front shade. Then you got to go in and jerry-rig and buy one of them Jigaboo front shades that don't even really work and the little things fall off and it's, it's a whole situation. So, you know, um, the first truck you should pick, I'm not, I don't want to tell you the first truck you should pick, Freightliner. But if you pick a Freightliner, it's a pretty good truck. You got your front shade in there. It maximizes on size. It's not a lot of frills and pills and grills in there. So it's not going to be like fancy dancy. But at the same time, you'll be able to get the job done. At the end of the day, as they say, it's the Honda of the industry. And for the most part, it'll get the job done. Don't listen to the idiots that's going to tell you that you can't go up a mountain because you're watching a Freightliner go up a mountain at 43,000 43, pounds in the box right now. So stop it. You know, now it may not go up super fast, but it can get up the mountain. As long as the job done, it is what it is. And as my uncle used to say, uh, Mr. Pope, down there in uh, Virginia, if I tell you a duck can pull a truck, hook that mf -er up. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? That's all that really matters. Don't get caught up in the glamour, okay? The nonsense. The jigaboo and the buck dancing, because a lot of that's going on, and you don't even know it's going on. You're gonna be in school with somebody who's gonna be all over Peterbilt and all over this and all over that. And I'm this and I'm that. Listen, if it's your preference, I get it. But if all he's worried about is how good his truck looks, he ain't about to make no money. Okay? That's why people never like Dirty Red, because Dirty Red got dirty in the bed. It didn't matter what was going on. She Dirty Red did reefer. Drive van, step deck, flatbed, overhaul side, all of it. We worked it. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter. Hey, listen, if it's working, then it then it, it ain't got no time to be pretty. You feel me? And you you got time. And a lot of y'all are going to the truck stop. I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. Truck clean as a whistle, and you musty. What kind of sense does that make? Your truck is shining, and you ain't got no front teeth. What is wrong with you? Your truck is shining and you got layers of dirt on your on your neck. Or your kneecap falling over your shin and your ankles falling over uh, falling over your shoe. You take better care of that truck than you do of you. Don't be that guy, bro. This is you here to make money. You're not here to look cute. You're not here to look good. You're not here to stroke your ego. You're here to make a check. That's why you're here. You're not here to make friends. You're not here to join groups. You're not here to go to truck shows. You're here to make money. Stack the, get your money, put it somewhere else, create an asset. That's what we're into doing. We're not into none of that other stuff, none of the ego stuff, none of that other crap. It's not needed. Half of it's jigaboo.